Hi everyone, this is Vincent Lancy, and I wanted to check in with you all today to let you know that we are all in this together. I've had the opportunity to team up with some of my close friends and colleagues to share our stories, how coronavirus has affected us personally, and how it has also affected our businesses in efforts to bring us all together. Each day this week, I will release different testimonials from different industries in different states to bring us all together through our stories. Thank you to all of the people on the front line fighting this coronavirus. We appreciate you very much. Hi, this is Dr. Denise McDermott. I'm an adult and child psychiatrist in private practice in Manhattan Beach, California. The way the pandemic has affected my business directly is I've changed all FaceTime appointments. Some of my patients had already done phone appointments before, so this was sort of a flexible transition. Last week, the flow of business was good. I'm going to see what's up for this week. One of my big concerns is that there are going to be less clients because everyone's just sort of hunkering down and staying inside. So I think what's really important for all of us as business owners and entrepreneurs is to really kind of look at our finances and maybe negotiate our rents with our commercial real estate because I have that every month. I'm also making sure my son's doing homeschooling. So for many of us as business owners, we're working from home and we might get interrupted by our children. So I'm making sure if that happens, which it hasn't happened that many times because I let my son know I'm on the FaceTime appointment. But that's also just part of being human. You know, when people hear my son shout out, they know that I'm working from home. So I think it really gives us like almost like vulnerable and transparent element. Another thing I want to say is that there are times where we're all going to have little panic or anxiety when we watch the news. So my big tip for me is like grab the news and go and get what I need for the day. Make sure I have food, shelter, clothing, fitness, reaching out to friendships, and just staying with a really healthy mindset. Also really important when we have our own businesses to make sure we look at our financial portfolios and make decisions. So thank you and thank you Vince for getting all of us together like this. Really appreciate you. Thank you. Hey Vin, it's your longtime friend Sam Hager here. I'll just give you a quick introduction. I am a business professional working in the liquor industry as a global supply chain manager. So to sum that up, I deal with supply and demand. We we do forecasting for all sales across the country and as well as exports outside the country. And then we manage inventory and production to make sure that we can support uh, our business. So overall, the last few weeks have definitely been pretty crazy. Um, you know, the, the one thing I wanted to point out for my industry is that liquor and alcohol has been deemed deemed an essential product. So all liquor stores across the, the country are are still open. Um, however, it's starting to get a little tricky because there are about 17 states that are run, that liquor um, boards control uh, the sale and the manage the management of that, uh, of the liquor in that state. So to, to see how those are going to operate over the next um, few weeks is is definitely concerning. Uh, again, Pennsylvania is the only state so far that has closed. Um, so for us, you know, we're still trying to produce we and, and, and keep up with demand um, with everyone going into the stores and kind of cleaning out the shelves. So we did see a surge um, in sales. And again, you know, we, we are expecting a, a slowdown over the next month or two, which we're beginning to see. So right now it's it's really, you know, just staying on our toes to make sure that if, if something does go into effect that will um, slow down the industry um, or, or kind of put a stop on all sales of liquor, that's when, you know, it's it's going to be a big problem for, for my industry and my, my line of work. Um, but right now, you know, again, with, with it deemed as, uh, an essential product, you know, we're still trying to produce um, to keep up with demand. Um, I know that, you know, my within my industry there are distilleries around uh, or across the globe that are really actually ramping up production on hand sanitizer and some other essential goods to to help support uh you know the public um but yeah overall it's it's you know it, it's it's been okay for for the liquor industry right now but again expecting uh, a possible downturn in in sales thanks hello debbie lundberg Founder and CEO of Presenting Powerfully and founder and co-host of the Business of Life Masterclass podcast. And while the coronavirus has certainly negatively impacted my business, 
by cancellations of speaking engagements, strategy sessions, team and training, and small group coaching, I'm down about $55,000. And yet, what I have been able to do with the coronavirus is assist others. And yes, while it's not bringing in revenue, it is certainly something that providing webinars and writing articles and being in resource for communication at this time has brought some joy, I dare say, joy uh, from being able to assist and not feeling as though there was nothing that I could do. So anyway, while we're all in this together, it is important that, as I say, the hashtag kindness need not be quarantined get spread and we continue to focus on our gratitude and our goals because we will be out of this at some point. Thank you. Hey, uh, Glenn Metropolitan here with uh, NHL alumni, Tampa Bay alumni. Uh, coronavirus is obviously uh, affecting everyone. Uh, I'm trying to utilize this time that I have in regards to do some good reading, catch up with friends on calls, and uh, just trying to take positives out of it. Uh, I know everyone's kind of uncertain about the future, but uh, I think it's a good time to kind of better yourself. Um, that, that's kind of it. That's all I can say. And I'll stay safe, stay, stay well, eat well. My name is Mike Gorman. I'm the owner and founder of the Brothers Gorman. We are a wedding video and photography company. How coronavirus has affected my business is basically new leads have stopped. So definitely a lot less people are booking weddings right now. Um, they still are, but definitely a lot less. So a lot less weddings booked. And then at the same time, a lot of my weddings for May and now even into early June are starting to get postponed. So fortunately for me anyway, my weddings aren't getting canceled. They're just getting postponed. So instead of having weddings spread throughout the summer and fall, now I just sort of have a ton of weddings in a row, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday type deal. So definitely going to be a bit more work. But fortunately, I'm one of the lucky small business owners where this coronavirus hasn't affected me that much.